Therapy Thursdays here in Louisiana Living. I am Dr. Jerry Yarborough, physical therapist and owner of Physical Therapy and Balance Centers. And today we have a special guest, Dr. Rachel Atkins. She is one of our staff therapists and our pelvic floor certified specialist. And today she's going to talk about diastasis recti. That's right. That's right. right. All right. All right. So first I'm going to explain what diastasis recti is. We all have a line of connective tissue from the tip of the breastbone down to the pubic bone called the linea alba. And sometimes when a lot of pressure is applied to the abdomen, either through pregnancy or excessive weight, or sometimes an injury, or we can be born with it as well, um, with that excessive pressure, that connect connective tissue spreads out and causes an opening between your abdominal muscles. So kind of like your six pack or four pack or keg, whatever you might have, uh, those two lines of abdominal muscles can spread apart from each other when you have a diastasis recti. Now why is this a problem? Well, it can get worse and worse if you don't know how to treat it, and that increases the risk for hernias or other injuries to your internal organs because you do not have the tension that needs to be there in those abdominal muscles. Okay, so most commonly we see this diagnosis after pregnancy. So if you have recently had um, a pregnancy, then I'm gonna show you how to check yourself for a possible diastasis recti. Okay. So what you're going to do is lie on your back and place your fingers above your belly button, just like this, and you're going to do a crunch. So you're gonna lift your head and your shoulders off of the bed or the mat, and you're gonna feel and see if you feel a separation where your fingers are. Now, it can be normal to have up to one finger width separation between those abdominal muscles. So we're looking for anything that's greater than one finger width. You want to record how wide the gap is if you do feel a gap there, so that when I teach you the exercises, you'll know if they're helping and that if it's getting better. So let's say you do feel a gap there and it's a two finger width. Make sure you record that somewhere or it could be two and a half fingers if it wiggles a little or if you can fit all three fingers and sometimes even four fingers can fit in there. Um, and so make sure you figure out how many finger widths there are and that you keep that information handy to recheck it. Now that you have learned how to find if you have the diastasis recti, let's talk about what to do and some exercises that can help. Okay. Number one, we can use therapeutic tape like kinesio tape to retrain those muscles to come back together and that's something I would love to show you um, if you want to come into the clinic and be checked out here or you can find videos online and, and um, buy tape um, yourself and try to do that at home but the exercises I'm going to show you today are going to be where you lay on your back and you use your fingertips on either side of your abdominal muscles and pull your abdominal muscles together, hold, and do your crunch. So you're using your fingertips on the opposite sides of the abdominals to hold them together as you do crunches. I would recommend doing two sets of 20 crunches at least twice a day, and you should really start to be able to tell a difference after that. The second exercise I would recommend is using an ankle weight and a therapy band while lying on your back, pulling the opposite arm and opposite knee together in a rotational movement. So gentle rotational exercises are very beneficial for treating dia diastasis recti. So we're gonna do three sets of 10 on each leg, bringing opposite arm to opposite knee. And finally, it's very important to modify your movement in life. You don't want to do any very intense abdominal movements like sit-ups or leg lifts and even when you're doing things like going from laying down in bed to sitting up don't do a sit-up roll over to your side and push yourself up you want to avoid any big movements of the abdominal muscles until that is healed awesome <clears throat> thank you so much dr mm -hmm. rachel that is very helpful and 
Uh, more people are affected by that than, than you would think. Absolutely. So this is great information. Thanks again. Guys, if uh, you have this problem and you need a little more help, just give us a call. We're, you know, Dr. Rachel's here and we have uh, multiple other doctors of physical therapy that can help you in our six locations. So uh, thanks for coming today and we look forward to seeing you again next week.